Hello and welcome back to another video. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I uh, got done with moving. This is uh, my new place now. And finally recording a video here for the YouTube channel. Um, you know, I had an insane weekend where I played the Mox, um, the Mox Opens, uh, which took 23 hours of magic, literal playing time out of my weekend <laughs> because uh, on Saturday and Sunday there were two Mox Opens. Yeah, so uh, that kept me a little busy, but now we're a little bit, we're back to standard. There's the standard qualifier weekend on Saturday, Sunday. Um, on Friday, you can qualify for it via the best of three qualifier, or if you made top 250 in Mythic, Limited or Constructed, you're automatically there. So just pointing that out there. And with that, I'm going to try out this Esper midrange list, which has been very successful on Magic Online by one player, actually, who's just continuously top eight standard challenges. Um, with Esper midrange. Interesting enough, right away, get, get, let's get into it. Tishana Sidebinder in the main deck, more or less a sideboard card. Um, used to be for domain mo mainly because of Cavern of Souls, right? Um, but uh, now with the Timur Ram deck, you can actually counter the ability of um, the Analyst, returning all lands, and you can counter the ability of a land, of, the, of one of these um, how do you call them? Fetch lands. And then basically that's a storm rain. It just won't fetch a land. You just, if they play it, you, you want to play, pass the turn with three mana open. They play one of these lands. You just boom, play tight burner, stone rain them, stifle their fetch land. Just like you can do in timeless or older formats like legacy, or I guess even in modern where tight burner has been popular, at least when a violent outburst was still around. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, they're not you know, pretty reasonable meta call right now, I guess you could say. Also not the worst card all around. It, it always does a little bit here and there. It, it can counter a Fiend trigger, for example. It can counter a Preacher trigger, turn these creatures into, you know, just one for vanilla, two for vanilla. Um, which, you know, it, it requires a removal at that point from your opponent to sort of deal with this tight binder. Uh, so yeah, not not the worst card even in those matchups and even again something like Convoke uh, It can come up that you counter the Recruiter trigger or even the Knight Errant trigger Which are both, you know, very impactful and important for the Convoke deck um, So yeah, kind of cool. All right rest of the list um, We have cut down scope for the four and get lost as the removals here. Deep Cavern bad as a four of I mean, it's just a perfect um, Thing with Rafine and Preacher. Oh notably. Yeah, we're not playing vetting announcement um, most of the lists you see have Wedding Announcement, this one deciding that, yeah, Wedding Announcement just a little too slow right now, and rather relies on Lord Skidder, which, again, another card that's good against the Teemo deck, exiling some lands from the graveyard, and then also Preacher of the Schism, which, yeah, just a fantastic free drop all around. Um, Lord Skidder making rats, also very nice with Rafine and Virtue of Loyalty, of course. Denik, a two off, Fairy Mastermind, a three off, three no more lies, um, over make disappear. I like that. Quite good against Memory Deluge, of course. Only one copy of Shieldred, uh, sorry, Shieldred. No, zero copies of Shieldred, notably. One copy of Wandering Emperor and one Atlas Odds to uh, make the stack. Yeah, the, the high mana cards, not existent. Um, really not existent. Very cheap, very low to the ground. You can cast Virtue for five, but otherwise just one four drop, one five drop. Um, but you do have stuff to do with your mana. You have Restless Anchorage four times, really valuing this land here. Six actual tap lands, none of the other, um, none of the other man lands, just four Anchorage saying this is the very best of the bunch. I want four of them. I want to be attacking with that on turn six and so on. When I'm like out of cards, I can attack the Anchorage and keep, keep rolling. Um, notably, zero Plaza of Heroes. Uh, I mean, the legend count is low. There's um, no Shieldred, just these uh, nine legends here, I suppose. Reasonable. I mean, Plaza of Heroes can be awkward, but can also be a nice upside land and fix for your Rafine. In any case, I guess Wandering Emperor also fixes for that. Yeah. Um, we got four Dark Slicks, Secret Host. Okay, the rest is pretty boring. Let's take a look at the sideboard. Two Duress, three more counter spells, two Lockdown. And two Gixxas Command for uh, Convoke, uh, not our aggressive decks. Two Stonebrain. That is the first. Um, that's certainly notable. But yeah, I, I assume this is just a response to um, the Timor Ramp deck. You can Stonebrain the World Soul's Rage 
And at that point, it might become difficult for them to actually win the game. Um, they would need some other way to win, like a doppelgang and so on and so on. So I guess that's the idea there, um, the stone brand. Let's, let's see it. Let's try it. I'm a little skeptical, to be fair, because like this is a tempo deck. So you really don't want to take four mana and exile a card from your opponent's deck. It's just, you know, like the, the Teemo deck can still make their land drops, cast Memory Deluge then, find a Sweeper, find Removal, whatever. And then if they board it in some other random, like a doppelgang is, is what, you, you, what you see sometimes, right? They can just, you know, get a bunch of mana and then doppelgang you anyways. And then at that point, the Stone Brain, hmm, did it do a whole lot? No. So I'm a little skeptical on that, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Ariana has been crushing it um, in these challenges, so... Certainly having success. Two Kutzil's flanker. This one also quite good against um, the ramp deck. Just exiling the graveyard is the, is the notable thing here. If they go crack analyst, you can in response flank them and exile the entire graveyard. And here we have one copy of Lauren and one copy of Axelots to round the sideboard out. Lauren nice against Domain. Um, I guess in the mirror match, if they have vetting announcement and virtue, you can blow those up. And Actazots, of course, uh, for these black mid-range mirrors. This is the, the big killer. Um, yeah, this deck uh, looks pretty solid. Let's give it a run, shall we? All right, I'd love to play first. We are missing one land, but that's going to be okay. Right? That's going to be okay. Don't jinx me. Um, yeah, as per mid-range. I mean, this is a deck that has been around, um, but it might... Maybe it's maybe it's well positioned for the qualifier. This is certainly a little bit of a case of uh, let's let's try this and see. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, do we got a bat as well? We got one go for the throat. Um, and we got an inti, a blood type, and two storm seeker. The thing it's this Rakdos deck. I assume they have four archfiend. Rakdos storm seeker give archfiend haste. That type of thing. Uh, I have good free drops, so I think I just take the go for the throat here. Like if they want to play bad, that's fine. I could also take the bad, then they can go for the throat. I'm just gonna. I think it's fine if they see my hand. Right, I think it's fine. Oh, they're not even going for that. Huh. Interesting. That is unfortunate. Hitting the. Not like th this is what standard is about, especially in these mid range runs. If you don't hit your land drop, you're so, 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 so far behind compared to as if you do, right? Like it's incredibly important to hit your land drops, especially the third. <laughs> the fourth is less important in this deck. I mean, but the first, if you miss your third land drop, it's big. Maybe my opponent's missing lands as well here, though. So, yeah, I mean, my hand is loaded, so they can't really disrupt me much. They could take the Virtue of Loyalty. They take the Rafine, that's fair. And then they kill the Bat. Yeah. It's certainly a little annoying, because now they have to go for the throat. They can kill my free drop. But I guess I'm just going to play Lord Skitter. Nope, I guess I'm going to play a Deep Cavern Bat. I mean, we're both missing land drops. As long as that continues, I guess we're good. Um, yeah. Okay, wow. Well. A lot of Stormseekers. Stormseeker not that good against Preacher of the Schism. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna cut this. I mean, is that even worth? Yeah, I think I have to keep the cut down maybe for a Stormseeker here. And then I'm hoping to draw land for the preacher. But yeah, now now I'm certainly in a losing position. Okay. I mean. This thing flips if I don't play a spell. Mm, well, I will play a spell. Do I try to double block the preacher here? Lose both my guys? I 
could attack. I mean, I, I threaten a double block and a storm seeker this way. I guess I'm staying back. They can also pump this guy up. If I attack the Dennis, they can give this life link and one plus O. I mean, it already has life link. That way, this could attack. So the attack doesn't really do a long, whole lot because I don't want to trade for vampire token. So I should just stay back. I mean, I kept the two lander. It is risky, but you know, magic is a gambling game. <laughs> Um, and I, I have like almost half my deck is land, so like the odds of finding a land is 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 definitely in your favor. But uh, you can you can certainly hit the the lower percentages sometimes, and then this happens. Um, if I do this, draw a land, play preacher. They don't really have great attacks. On the other hand, I mean I could just let them deal me damage. Ignore the preacher for a little bit and then just start attacking my own preacher. Maybe, maybe find Emperor. It's just I'm throwing away so much board material, which has been great. Yeah, I feel like I'll just let him have these one ones. I think, like, these one ones aren't that good, right? I'm gonna go to 19, they're gonna get another one one. As long as I can stabilize and then play a virtue at some point down the line. Like these one ones are just one ones. As long as I have two twos or two threes, I'm gonna be okay, I think. Um yeah, just play our preacher here. Gix's command Gix's command good in this matchup? Maybe. I mean I think I'm gonna try it. It looks very good against this board. It does blow up a lot of my own stuff, to be fair. But it also blows up a big Archfiend of the Dross. So maybe it does something. I think I should just trade the preacher. Okay. Just kill that one. Yeah, I mean, like I'm 10% to win this game, perhaps. Very, very low. Uh, chances, but we'll, we'll play a little bit more. Like, I'm at 17, but yeah. Things are falling apart. They keep on the, having just good pressure and All right, let's concede. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay, I bring in the Aglazards. I don't love the Get Lost. Tide Banner seems medium, right? Get Lost kills a thing, but like two map tokens seems tough. Anything bad? I mean, the Lord Skitter, the Fairy Mastermind, no more lies. Tight band. Is tight band actually that bad? I mean, I guess I could theoretically counter all of these triggers, even in T. Um, tight band does a lot of little things, doesn't it? It's kind of funny. Anyways, but lots good. I can just run away with a game, so that that is a big upside as well. Um, this seems fine. I could be convinced that on the play, no more lies is maybe worse than a tight binder. Nah. Let's do this. And let's see how Gix's command performs. Maybe Gix's command is, is worse than just Tight Binder, I don't know. It's a bit of a slow effect. Five mana is a lot. Okay, there it is. What I've realized, like in these 
black mid-range mirrors. Just removal is so good. <laughs> like, two, go for the throat is like your best card. There's so many creatures that you just have to kill. Um, yeah. May it be, you know, gigs, uh, the, the bat, reacher, all these things. Actresons. I could discard the Akazards and then sort of, like, I think my Rafine is not going to survive, right? Then I play Gix's Command, make them sack a creature, get both my big guys back. But maybe it's better to just play the Akazards on curve. Play block here, kill my Rafine. I hope they don't have a little Yana. I was thinking about playing the Anchorage turn one. If they have a little Yana here... That would have been a lot better. Okay, that's great for me, I guess. That is just such a bad card in this scenario. Oh man, I even drew a card down. No more lies. Uh, okay, well... Guess I ditched this. Is, is the no more lies even better than go for the throat? I mean, probably. Okay, so they don't seem to have a removal for Rafine. Well, that's not a good situation to be in. You can't pass me, thank you. Hope they don't have a second one. No, okay. Could ditch the bat. Three cards in hand. More pressure, it's a 3 6, go to 14. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy my big flyers. Attack with the Inti into my Aklazards. A desperation move? No, they have to go for the throat. Okay. Could attack for Anchorage. But I think I just want to flip the temple. So flipping a temple cost me free. So I have to tap these free so I can play the bat still. Um, thinking about what to discard. I could discard the skitter, put him to 10. Or discard the land. Maybe discarding the land is correct here. I also have the anchorage. I have a god in play, and I'm also batting them this turn. I think I just get rid of the skitter. This works on both players as well. Like if your opponent has one card, you can also get this back. I think I'm just going to play this land. <clears throat> so if they discard a land, I get a 1-1 one, one even. Right? Yeah. Preacher. 
Nice. I mean, uh, my draw was perfect. They didn't answer my Rafine. Not surprised to win here. Didn't really see any new cards. Um, the Gixus command, huh? A lot of their creatures are hit by it. On the other hand, Tidebinders just being cheaper is nice. Fairy Mastermind. Fairy Mastermind doesn't seem that exciting here. Pretty low impact. They don't really draw cards. I guess they could crack a blood token. But they can also do that in my turn. Hmm. Maybe I can ditch some of those. Lauren? No. Get lost on the draw, maybe. Lord Skitter is a little worse on the draw. I'm gonna try this. I think Skitter still, you know, has sort of the ability to run away with a game. Must kill. Just a lot of must-kill threats, which is nice. Sure, that's a great hand. Like the one card you want on the draw is Cutdown, to be fair. The Cutdown is insanely good against my opponent's deck as well. It kills the Storm Seeker, kills all the twos. Very, very good. It's kind of, I mean, I think I have so many no more lives with the second one. I think I'm just going to use this this one here. It's also less one less blood token. Yeah, it's actually kind of kind of good to use it there. I have go for the throat. They have four cards in hand. So like, I think I'm just going to sure. Maybe I'll play Rafine. Rafine might make it a little bit more difficult for them to... Nah, I'm going to play Preacher. Might make it a little bit more difficult for them to double spell. Like, now they could go in T plus go for the throat, for example, which I wouldn't love that. Okay. Preacher. Uh... Huh. Like, it's probably can't be can't be correct to blue there. They don't have a removal, obviously. So I could technically play Rafine. And then I let this Inti do more things. I really want to draw a land though, and I feel like the Inti can do things if they want to. Ditch the Danik. I, I think with my situation, I'm like stacked on spells. I think I just ditched uh, the free drop because I want to double spell next turn, hopefully. I guess it gains trample. It's a lot of damage. Oh, it doesn't actually want to. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, I figured. I could have figured that out, I guess, but it, it's going to be a pretty big tempo swing in my favor here. So first things, I'm going to attack all. Yeah, and pump the vampire. So I have a couple of cards to discard here. Um. Danik, you didn't know more lot. Mm. So I'm gonna go for the throat. I could also go for the throat, but I 
they're gonna block the token, so I guess I'm gonna go for the throat. So if I have Ganjo, ah, I gotta be careful here also with the the lands, they get one once, right? So maybe I do this. Um, seems pretty decent. Could keep the normalize over the virtue. Mm -mm. No. That's actually something I didn't consider though. So that is a reason to actually go for the throat before you attack. So you can discard lands. Yeah. That was a bit of a mistake, I suppose. Go to nine. Now I have two ways to deal with future actors arts. Mm. And it takes quite a while for that card to set up again, so. Also a Ganjo here. It's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, these free drops. I mean, my opponent didn't draw any removal for these free drops, and they're just too good. Like, yeah, Axis is the trump, but it's you know, not going to beat these two enabled. It's too much of an engine. I hope I'm just going to die here. What's your plan? I could deal myself two damage pre-combat. <laughs> that that would put me on nine, and then my preacher would, um, you know, make me a tope and draw me a card. So again, gotta be careful about the bad thing. I could have played this differently too. I could have geeks this command, make them sacrifice, put counters on something else. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, this guy, this thing. I can even wandering emperor that thing over there, right? <clears throat> so if they have a kill spell for this, oh, they have Silken Sun. That's awesome. Huh. That's kind of cool. Into a shield red. All right, all right, all right. That's actually. So that, I was like, mm, how did I win? Because like, even if they have a kill spell, which. They clearly don't have because they let me attack first. Um, but yeah, Zogan's Sun works. And also triggers the Inti, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm going to kill off the Akrazards. Geeks' command didn't really do a whole lot. Didn't matter. I feel like just two mana go for the throat is all you want in this type of matchup. Just two mana kill anything. Like, that's what this deck is, right? Like, this red-black deck... Everything dies to go for the throat, besides Axis Arts. And like, Esper just has a little bit more variety, right? Or like, Denik is good against go for the throat. Virtue is good against go for the throat. Fiend, yeah. But yeah, my opponent just didn't draw a go for the throat. If they had two go for the throats, this draw, you know, would have this game would have been totally different. I mean, I didn't have a clean answer to the Axis Arts, right? So the Axis Arts actually, you know, has the time then to take over. No well, observations are made, have been made. No, thank you. Okay, this is workable. I guess I'm just gonna ditch that. I only have one double white card, so I mean, I guess I have the virtue as well, but like, I'm gonna be okay. Oh, there. The Timo deck. Okay, that's a good matchup to test. And right away, I'm drawing a tight binder. How lucky! How lucky. Tidebinder even counters the Wrath. Think about that. Right? Because the Wrath, the, the explosion, is a triggered ability. Um, so it does counter that too. That's amazing. Pwn's playing white. Okay. I'm curious what this is about. Maybe some lists have been playing um, Elish Norm for the mirror match. Oh. Oh, that's something new. 
Cosmic Rebirth. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm taking the... the miss. Hmm. I mean, the Cosmic Rebirth returns the Analyst. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to take the Nissa. They play Analyst here, and then I can play Bat, cut down the Analyst. They have nothing left. Cosmic Rebirth. So it's like a ram spell that gains free life, essentially. I mill the deluge. Okay. Cosmic Rebirth. If you don't put on the card, you put in your hand. Maybe they're not playing red? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, I guess I'll take the rebirth, yeah. I mean, they could play um, Sunfall as the sweeper. But without red, you don't have the word Soul's Rage. I mean, I'd be surprised if they don't have red. Maybe they're splashing just red for the rage. I don't know. Cosmic rebirth. Okay, what else? Invasion of Akavios. Okay, this is spicy. How do you... Whenever you get out of the game, okay. Are you trying to flip that? Hmm. Maybe. And that's kind of funny. Okay, I found a memory deluge. That's a bit unfortunate, I guess. And the Shigeki. You counter the trigger and make it do nothing. I think because they have deluge, they're going to spend their mana next turn anyways on that. So I'm going to just preach it up. I'd be very surprised that they Shigeki instead of casting deluge here. The deck gains so much life, it's crazy, right? It's like four life gained there. Okay. It's funny that I play it against this matchup and I draw right away two tight binders. I, mean, I, I would like a no more lies, to be fair, instead of one of them right here, right now. But uh, it's all kind of lucky, I guess. All right, I mean, if they have a sweeper, I'm toast. They find like plain sunfall. They have the explosion. I'm definitely not toast. You can beat that card. The type binder. No sunfall. Asian of a caveat. This is. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Nothing. Well, I guess I'm going to make a samurai and buff it. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Should I counter this Shigeki trigger? Hmm. What's the what's the worst thing that could happen next turn? They could analyst me. If they, if, if they Shigeki one more lander to play, I feel like I just want to counter the the other side of Shigeki, right? That's sounds like a much better idea. Oh look, they already have oh they have cosmic reaver. Yeah, sure. But I only have one green, awkward. They can't do both. This gains them three more life. Okay, there's some Cabaretti Courtyards, so that might be red mana. Guess I just buff. If 
very Mm-hmm. Have a response. You have a response too? Eight lands. That's not happening. What did it have? Two mana something. Removal? Get lost? Bounce? They seem to have something. No sunfall, please. That would not make me happy if you have a sunfall. That's fine. Okay. They seem to be a little bit bottlenecked on white. But they have negate in the main deck. Wow. Uh, sorry, bottlenecked on green mana is what I meant to say. They're 10 life. Uh, they block these two, they take... Do they have the blocker rings? Uh, pump one of the flyers. They uh, take five, eight, and they have to jump at least one creature, I guess. I'm thinking about not drawing cards here, because I, I already have everything. You know, I have the advantage. I don't want to... But yeah, I get to draw two, but they they do get to draw one, and I just don't want that card to be good. Um... So put another counter on there. This guy, whatever. Okay. The sacking away the creature. Am uh, I missing something? Seven, nine. I guess they have to, huh? I did. I I miscounted. Didn't I? Six, eight. They have to block both. Actually, yeah. Right. It takes six in the air. No. What? Yeah. No. They actually have to block both. This is a weird block because they can prevent one more damage day if they want to. That's in the main deck of your deck. Okay, now I understand the block. What the heck? So they're playing the gate? Search the salvation. Oh, because search the salvation counters the rage. Oh, that's funny. I guess it, it does counter the rage and it also counters the explosion. Huh. The opponent has empty handed, is also hexproof. I guess I'm going to play Denik. And I could just play nothing, honestly. <laughs> One life. <clears throat> they they have to draw Sunfall, otherwise this game's over. Okay, this game is over. Even even if they say analyst, I mean that is like what how much life? Virtue of strength. Sure. That's like how much life? One, two, three, four. Eight life, go up to nine, block here. You still die. They just lost the game here. This is over. You you block here, you take more than nine. Like you can gain all the life in the world right here. There will be, I mean, 
I guess they will get an untapped land. We have five of them. Whatever. I'll just want to do this to save time. In a professional setting, like if I would be playing the qualifier weekend, I would just let that resolve. Because I don't want to show them that I have multiple type binders. Okay, we're on the draw. Unfortunately, only one land. Oh, it's a very similar hand, but one more land. I'll take it. Um. Oh, I would love to know what my opponent's on. Cut down could be bad. Uh, certainly the card that has the least. But also it's like nice on a draw to have, like one drop. Hmm. I'm thinking between cut down and Denik maybe is my options here. Tough call to make without knowing what the opponent's on. I think it's just better to ditch the cut down. It could be wrong. Yeah. Could be wrong. It was wrong. Blue White Warden. Could be the Artifacts deck. Could be. It is the Artifacts deck. Okay. Yeah, Cutdown would have been uh, preferred over the Stenic. Not gonna lie. Well, I guess go for the throat. We'll we'll make this hopefully work. Man, Pest Control coming in the next set. <laughs> Look at this board. This deck probably. We'll have a tough time if that happens. Um, I think I'm bad here. Okay. All right. Pretty good stuff. They can hit me for eight next turn. Pretty good turn, a pretty good start from their deck. I mean, and the hand at turn three, I mean, it helped a little bit. They also mulligan, to be fair. Okay, well, I really don't want to use my go for the throat quite yet. But maybe I should. It's just so awkward with the mana. I'm likely going to take, it could even take more damage, honestly. Like that, they could make the. They probably will do that, to be honest. There's no reason not to make the the 2-2 two -two over there into a 6-6. Six -six, and then also grow this to a 4-5. Yeah, that's 10 coming across. I would like to have one ring emperor. Can I can I can I have that one? No. Yeah, so 10 puts me to 5, and then next turn I can kill the warden and play a Denik, a chump block. Let him have the Emperor again. Yeah, that does not look good at all. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. Tough. <clears throat> the cutdown was, uh, I mean, to be fair, the case would have been a 6-6 six, six anyways, but if I had a cutdown here, I could have, you know, at least, I, don't even, I guess, I guess I wouldn't have the Denik though, so I would have just to go for the throat. This artifact deck is very nice against these black decks when they rely on go for the throat. My opponent didn't go for the 6-6. Six, six. What? That seems crazy to me. I mean, they, they want to make it at instant speed, I guess? Okay. Do they have a kill spell? Wow. Okay. Hmm. If I'm lucky... Um, you know, I could grow this Danik into a 4-5 lifelinker. Then I have a lot of life gain, actually. So, yeah. I'm happy they drew a get lost, I suppose. Oh. Hallelujah. Okay. I think I have to keep a Danik around here. Um, I guess I could also pump the bat. Huh. Bat doesn't fly though. Uh, uh, sorry, the bat doesn't attack into this well. This this is a four four now. If I make this a four five, I can attack potentially. I'll, I'll make this bigger. I think I'm just gonna keep that and then bin it. I really want those counters. 
could also keep it all together. It's a chump blocker. Is it going to be a 5 6 next turn? I'm going to chump here. So I'm going to take, I'm going to go to 9. They're going to attack me for 6. Um, put me to 3. And attack for 5 again. Go to 8, then play Virtue, untap. Du, 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 du. I can't really deal with this. So maybe I'll play Lord Skitter, chump block again. Uh, hmm. Okay, not sure. I'll try that. Guess I should do this now in case they draw a counter spell. I mean, I feel theoretically I could. I could uh, let them. Like, I, I'm going to jump here and then I could next turn jump with the bat. Oh, what? What? One's playing so interestingly, like giving me the option to not block, like, is that really? Because they don't, they want to double block the Denik, I guess? Huh? Hmm. Curious. Do you want to double block the Denik of the case? Kill the case. I think I should chump block no matter what, but this is interesting actually. Like, uh, interesting plays. Hmm. Okay, I could also not attack the Denik now. To decide not to trade with them. Is that a good idea? Such a weird game. I, I like, I, every turn my opponent did something different than I anticipated. <laughs> Making me reassess. I do want to trade my Denik. I have the Virtue. Big lifelink boy. They can also attack back for 11. Jump block the glyph. I think I'm not going to trade actually. It's weird, but I don't know. It's super weird. Yeah, this matchup seems somewhat difficult. Temporary lockdown is a big game. They already shown me get lost, so they have answers for it even in the main deck already. They're attacking both. Okay.
Wow. So when it leaves the battlefield, put it into a graveyard so I could bounce it during combat, technically. That would completely remove it. That's huh. six. Okay, let's attack. Like if I play the Virtue and they have Counterspell, I'm just dead, right? So maybe I should have played the Virtue pre-combat. Um, but I think I'm just gonna not play the Virtue here. I'm just gonna Olivara. Seems seems a little safer to me. Ah. Oh. And you know they didn't play they didn't play a land, so it's not totally unlikely that they have a con spell. Okay, I guess I'm gonna activate this because this cost me only two mana here. Could give him the discover here. Is that better than giving this back? It could find a glyph and put me to one. Okay, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce the thing. Give him the discover. It's a bit of a tempo play. The discover costs him zero mana. If he if he glyphs here, he's gonna get more than you know. It's just been a, a really fun game to play, like so tricky and decision heavy. Okay, that's six. Rafine. Huh. Pretty nice one. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind a Rafine here, considering I have all these rat tokens. Okay, no, no more lies. Um, attack all. Buff my bat. That's a four four now. Damn. <laughs> wow. That was nice. <laughs> Very satisfying. Okay. Um, they have Glyph, they have Case, Get Lost. I'm thinking about the rest. Should bring that. They also have the Emperor. I'd have Cryptic Code. Uh, yeah. Um, I hope it throws a bit of a weird one here. Like, yeah. Doesn't seem that good, right? Like that's that's just such a nice feature about the stack that it's so good against go for the fraud. Um, I think no more lies maybe a bit expensive on the draw. I don't love the ferry either. I don't do I love tide bender? Hmm. Seems a bit slow on the draw. I think the skitter is bad. Tide bender probably bad. Mastermind probably not great. No more lies maybe not good. So lockdown, Lauren, hundred percent. Duress, Gix's Command, Aklazards. I think the Virtue isn't great here either. And it blocks some things, I guess. Um, I think Duress is good, yeah. Gix's Command. It's a way to kill the Glyph. I think it's just going to be good enough. The Betrayal. I get, I mean, no more lies, I guess, counters the Glyph. So not that bad in that regard. Mm, Preacher, Lauren, cut down the rest, go for the throat. Two more slots to give. So I can give it to Tidebinder, no more, no more lies or Fairy Master. I could also give it to Negate. This thing doesn't do anything. I think no more lies is better than Negate though. Just they don't have much lands anyways. So Mastermind might pop a clue, but otherwise. Lines up kind of poorly against the Siren and all that. Tight burner, tight burner, tight burner. I think I'm just going to run the normal eyes. 
Two Arc Lizards might be a bit clunky. Their counter spells are going to be good, which makes my duress good, right? So I can take those counter spells and then play my big threat or my Gixxus command. Yeah. Yeah, this works. This definitely works. I, I don't have a third land, but I'm optimistic. And I my other, otherwise, my hand is phenomenal. By the way, I think I totally forgot to mention, but my the the band um the band deck that I played against uh earlier today, they just con they just conceded the match after game one. They were maybe too tilted that I had the tight burners in the main deck. Anyways, um four cards in hand. What am I doing? Play the anchorage. Kill off the one. Yeah. Could play no more lies, but I think I just just play the Ankarash. And I think I want to cut down there, even though I do have the lockdown, because I don't really want to give them I don't want them to think about lockdown. Me killing the warden there makes them think about it less. It's gonna be less on their radar. Hope that thing. I'm just gonna play Laura and kill the bedding. Can also kill the schooner. Oof. The schooner walks into lockdown though. Yeah, the bedding is too good, I guess. Passing the turn like that. And it makes me think they have a counter spell. I really want to hit a land drop, so I'm activating Lotharin. I'm just gonna play. It's just awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. It's almost pass. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna normalize that. So I get to play my lockdown next turn. This is a deck that could easily play spell pierce. Uh I hope they don't have that. Oh, not dark always. I'm gonna use Lauren again, which I don't love doing against this aggro deck, but I need to hit lands, you know. Yeah. RNG is killing me here. I prefer yeah. It God damn it! It's so bad. Like, especially activating Lauren a bunch when... <laughs> so terrible. Like, it's so bad. Activate, having, having to activate Lauren a bunch 
when your opponent has way more mana than you means they can spiral out of control way faster. That type by now, okay. But they didn't have a counter, but they have get lost. <clears throat> At eleven already. Take four, go to seven. One has one of darker ways than them. Okay. Okay, okay, so. Got this thing over there. And crash as well. <clears throat> um, and if I play the, the god, they can only attack with this. Right? And then I just jump with Lauren. Could also play Rafine attack if I find untapped land. I have Olivara. For the for the glyph. They can discover into something. But Fiend Demic. Actuals. Actuals just loses to some top deck. They literally only have one draw. And if I untap, probably in a pretty good spot. <sighs> okay, fine. Play the Atlas Arts. Something bad happens. I'm just dead. But like, I don't know. I feel like I'm so far behind. I just have got to go with the high upside play here. They attack all, I can block. Oh, this is a 4 4. Didn't think about that. Am I dead? I'm at, a, I'm at 12. Block here, take 6 8. No, I'm not dead. I've blocked the two, blocked the tight banner, blocked the glyph, take 8. Yeah. Go to 4. The next turn I play. Next turn I play. I think now I'm not actually with Lauren. Looks like they haven't drawn something impactful. They might have drawn Tight Binder. Maybe. They didn't want to activate this, but they could have. Could play it safe and play bad first. Just to see what's up. Then play my Rafine. They have a darker waste in hand, so I feel like. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Oh, they have two lands? Okay. Oh, they have Anchorage, so they can block my bad, I guess. Um, but I could. I could make, yeah, I'm going to get a bad chump blocker, so I'm just going to make my deep cavern bad bigger. <clears throat> Cut down. Uh, Rafine and Denik. Go for the throw, it doesn't do a whole lot. But neither these two do much. <clears throat> okay, sure, why not? Oh, it gets even bigger, right.
No trampling though. Uh, I guess I'll cut down first. no trampling so eight life you got Type binder, a gun drill. Okay, sure. <clears throat> I guess I could have popped the map token actually. Okay, they give up. <laughs> that was a that was a fun game. That was a really fun game to play from my side. Probably not so much from the opponent's side. I mean, I was really far behind um, for a long time, but yeah, never give up. Missed a bunch of land drops and then still clawed back into it. Temporary lockdown, of course, helped. Um, I kind of anticipated them to have some counter magic, but I guess the only counter they had is tight binder, which does counter the lockdown trigger at least. Okay, we're on the draw. It's a two lander again. Still keeping these hands. Uh, I even got the cut down. So yeah, it can definitely go wrong, I suppose. Oh, what is this? Oh, Hajar. It's a cut down proof two drop. That's unfair. It's supposed to be that. Of course, not hitting the land in the first two, sweating here again. Yep. Corona. A little less threatening. And a cut down target. So it's like this combo Legends deck. Mm hmm. Of heroes. I think I'm just gonna cut this down and pass the turn again. <laughs> Just all colors, maybe not white. Are you playing some Slogurk shenanigans with Relic of Legends? Would you play Hajar then? Maybe. Uh, I guess I'll play Skidder. So Takanuma is a thing, right? Maybe they have it, probably. Yeah. There's the Slogurk. Probably gonna take that. Inti Slogurk shenanigans. I haven't played against this deck yet. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this works out. I guess Denig is... The free target lands. Yeah, Denig seems good. 
They do play that. Interesting. They play. They play the Oravara there. So what's what's your last two cards? Some channel lands? Hmm. What do I do here? Do I play Denik pre-combat? I guess why not? Whenever a land is put in your grave or anywhere, okay. So I can't really attack with the skitter. Oh, I'm stupid. Oops. Oh, I forgot that Denik shuts off. Oh, stupid me. But that Denik shuts off the skitter. I mean, it also shuts off the slogan, but I should. In this pre combat, I should have at least exiled the like, one land or something. Yeah. Oh man. No, they can just bounce the Denig, right? Like cut down it. I guess I'll counter that. Actually, happy to counter that. I mean, that was stupid. Yeah. Ooh. What? But only 4-4? Four, four? Why only 4-4? Four, four? Why not bigger? Got no bigger plans? Sacrifice food draw card. Round it up. Make it one bigger, you have two food. What is this, what is this about? Just really didn't understand that one. I have the fairy master, man. It's gonna draw me a card, the goose mother here. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> I might decide to not pop it, I guess. They also have the plaza and they have the 4 4 here. Okay, decided against it. <laughs> That's fair. This doesn't have trample, does it? The goose mother. I just didn't expect that. Rafi. <laughs> With this many creatures, huh? That's funny. <clears throat> um. They have like an auto Vara. I'm gonna get another 1 1 Trump blocker there. Maybe I don't attack with this. What am I even targeting? I guess I'm targeting the Fairy Mastermind. It's like they're just dead if they don't have anything. I mean, 14 lives is a lot, I guess. This is, I think this is the most I've ever drawn with Rafine. If they have a bouncy, they can actually eat my Lord Skitter. It's kind of painful. Yeah. It's pretty good. Eat that. I, I, I gain 5. I go up to 10. I'm at 10 now. I have 2 blockers. I do live right now. Plaza. Just insta play it. Not no not thinking about Rona. Is that lethal? No way. What? I can just do this and take nine. That was a weird play. What are you? What were they hoping to do? Draw? Maybe they were hoping to draw. Olavara? It doesn't even do anything because. It can't target the Rafine. That's Ward. That was just. Kind of gave me the win on the silver platter. 
I take it, I guess. Um, right. So is this a Relic of Legends deck? I, I presume it is, right? Is it? Let me see. Someone, someone, someone posted a deck somewhere that looked like this. Where did they post that? In one of my Discord channels. Let me just look over. Oh, I found it actually. It also has the Goose Mother. It's probably this list. Yeah, so they're playing Cutdown, Go for the Throat, and Relic of Legends. All the rest are Legends and Ajar. Yeah, it's probably the list. It's got to be, right? Zen's Lounge. Yep, Restless College. Yep. There's apparently some Japanese tournament or something. Haruya. Okay. Well, glad I have friends who picked this stuff up. Um, Rona, Inti, Hajar. Not that many two drops. I mean, 10. Um, is there a sideboard? Would be good to know. Just click on it. Uh, no sideboarding. No sideboard. Okay. Mm, no cavern of souls. Um, yeah, definitely bring in Lauren. I maybe should just bring in the luck. I mean, they have Poseidon. Hmm. Probably not a good matchup for me, I assume. Just have like this crazy over the top game plan. Very Masterman's very good against Rona at least. Could sit flanker, perhaps. I'm gonna have Danik on Lord Skitter for the graveyard. I could play Stonebrain, but looking at the deck list, I think this is, like if I start doing Stonebrain shenanigans, I'm just gonna die to their creature plan. Right? Like that's the thing with these decks. Oh. Kept a little fast. Well, always lucky, I guess. I was like, oh, I have four lands and free spells. Insta keep. Yay. But didn't have the white source. It's actually interesting if you even do this. I, I played a little fast there because like now I can't count. Oh wow, they did the Mr. Land drop, Jesus. Lucky me. Yeah, I'm just... I think I'm just gonna play Rafine here. Uh... Danik. Okay, well, a little bit of a downer, but hey, this was a good session. This was a good session. This deck definitely looks decent. Would have liked to see it against Timor Ramp. Uh, we didn't cover that one. Um, but yeah, Tidebinder looked kind of good. And the rest of it also looked fine. I mean... It's just like funny, like you can build Esper and all these mid-range decks in so many different ways, and especially free color ones, because there's so many cards that are good. Like even about the sideboard sweeper, what do you do? You could play like the Shepherd that gives minus one minus one. You could play Nightclub. You could play Lockdown. You could play Gixxel's Command. You could play Path of Peril. You could split them up. Like even that is like could be a brainstorming meeting of a one hour of like a you know a group of people. So it's like. There's so many ways to build the deck. There's so many reasonable options where it's like close. This is better in this situation. This is better in that situation. Um, but yeah, all, all in all, um, the 75 by Ariana is looking pretty good, I'd say. Um, yeah, no complaints so far. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And best of luck in the standard qualifier weekend if you decide to play in that. See you guys.